Well, the rumors are true. Helldivers 2 is pure fun. Whether you play solo, with randos, or with your friends, every time you step on that battlefield, it's like a cinematic moment. It's all about the moments to moments of those games. That's probably why, if you're here, you see so many clips of just these crazy moments. But really, during the entire match, it's all about that tension, and when you get to extract, you're thinking, we should not have survived this. The whole time you just thought it was overwhelming, you were going to be overrun, like, this should not have happened. But you pulled it off. So, the other day, I was playing on Hell Dive mode. My first time playing on the hardest difficulty with three other random people. And I wasn't recording while I was playing. I was actually just playing for fun. Imagine that. But I recorded it after the fact on the PlayStation. And on the PlayStation, when you play back, you can skip ahead every 10 seconds. And what I observed was that every time I did that, there was something interesting happening on the screenshot. And so I thought, wouldn't that be kind of fun to show the entire match as a slideshow? And that's what I'm doing today. So every 10 seconds will be just a screenshot, and it's going to be told that way. I'll be doing a little bit of commentary over it, as well as... Some tapping to go along with it. Tapping. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Kind of a different way to enjoy the Helldivers 2 gameplay. But what are we doing talking? Helldivers to your hell pods. Let's go. And we have launched. From the hell pods to the surface of the planet. Of course, right away, call down the support weapon and my shield generator pack. You know, obviously the fun of the game is trying different weapons and different strategies to see what works best for you? And for me, the stalwart, being able to crowd control and just unload a very nice and long clip into your enemies has been proven to be very useful. I can't imagine I would not bring that into the battlefield. Similarly, with the shield generator pack, it's just like a nice little buddy on your back and has saved me so many times. You know, if a bug spits acid on you, especially in the higher difficulties, that could be it. That could be your number. So, being able to be saved from that moment has been very nice, to say the least. And then I have the 500 Eagle Bomb. Obviously, huge amount of damage. I feel like it resupplies in a decent amount of time as well. And it's a good one when, you know, shit hits the fan and there's a lot of bugs, or there's a huge bug, like a titan, and you need to throw some heavy fire onto it. That eagle bomb where it's at and then last
last line, I used the EMS mortar. It helps slow the enemy down. So, another form of crowd control, in my opinion. And it works if you're going into battle and you want to throw it down to get the jump on them stun them before you surprise them or if you're running away and you need a little bit of time a little bit of distance between you and the enemy that's also where it can be effective and obviously the booster is kind of a nice addition and that will depend on who you go with and what your squad picks and really just depending on the situation what you want to do any of them they're just like a nice little addition and they're not you know they're not ridiculous where like oh if you don't go in with one you're okay, but they're just nice little, just nice little bonuses for you, like being able to have full ammo when you go in, or more stamina, better UAV. I'm curious, uh, what would your loadout be? So like I said, everyone plays this differently. I've seen people be very effective with the SMG or the shotguns as their weapons. I like the explosive rifle myself. For me, I feel like the shotgun and SMG, I run out of bullets fast. But it's not my typical kind of play. I'm a run and gunner, but I also like to be able to shoot from a distance. So the rifle is best suited for me, I think. But obviously I've played with them and the shotgun Shotgun is fun in just about every game, right? As long as they do it right. And Helldivers 2 definitely does it right. But again, it just kind of comes down to your playstyle. Bug nest. Oh. Calling in a resupply. See, like, even though some of those ones we just saw maybe aren't the most cinematic, and maybe even that, but there's just something always going on. In general, we do have a shorter attention span. What? And <laughs> so like literally every 10 seconds, there's something going on in this game. And certainly in every minute, it, there's something crazy that could happen. One more game, one more round, one more mission. It definitely hooks you in and gives you that feeling. Especially as you get into the later difficulties where the operations require three or more 
missions to complete the operation. So you have to jump in to multiple or multiple times. So yeah, it's just like, hey, the incentive is there to get more XP, to get more medals. They're very good at keeping you wanting more. It's certainly grabbed my attention ever since the first weekend I played. why you do if, if you're like me my feeds have kind of been taken over by hell divers too there are just so many cool moments that's why i'm making this video like this because you do you just have those moments where you're like oh my god i gotta save that i gotta share that i gotta show my friends that A simple little word starts with an F, then a U, then an N. Gotcha there, didn't I? F U N. Fun. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. And N is for anywhere, anytime. Down here on the hell diving sea. And that is a successful extraction. 